Mic check, mic check. Mwah. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Keto Cooking with Love. It's Tuesday, live. not Wednesday. Yes, exactly. We just had a little fall part earlier on our, on our Instagram live. We're excited, Tuesday, baby. Excited. It's uh, episode four, season three. Welcome back for those that are joining us. Welcome back. We have a very exciting uh, episode for you today. So one of the biggest questions, one of the biggest problem areas for a lot of our clients and just people in general who are trying to live a healthier lifestyle yeah. is they struggle with being able to prep delicious, healthy meals in a short amount of time. People right. are busier than ever, right? And so people have very limited time. And, and when we don't have a lot of time and we get hangry, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna gravitate to the first thing that we can eat. You don't get hangry. No, I don't. <laughs> But I might. But usually, usually when, when, when you're in that state of hunger already, like you're not in a position to make good decisions, right? right you just right. need to satiate that animal inside of you that's like, I want food. So not only gonna, that, after a long day of work and all that, you, that's just coming home. You and nobody just, got time for that. You know, nobody got time for that. I mean, everybody we can. do have time for that, but we do understand that it is a yeah. challenge for many yeah. people, depending on what your job is, what your career is. You know, a lot of people are juggling a lot of things. So we work with a lot of entrepreneurs, people who work hectic, busy schedules mm -hmm. with with uh, business leaders, thought leaders, entrepreneurs, realtors, all types of people. Yeah. Uh, parents. Okay. <laughs> that there's a lot of hours there's, sometimes yeah you know? so we're going to make this easy for you now this hour of cooking does not include shopping and cleaning however that's the easy part okay right. <laughs> that's right. the easy part what people don't know is actually what to cook that's actually healthy and quick and delicious we're going to solve all those problems for you today so before we get into the cooking Yes. As always, we start off with one of our signature mocktails. And, you know, we call it our signature mocktail because we're putting our own spin on it. You know, most drinks, most, you know, beverages that people enjoy are usually sugary. So we're doing our keto version of it. But this drink, and it's so funny that we have a certain guest later on today. Yeah, this drink, can't wait. This drink is a Jamaican cucumber what? ginger water. What? Do you hear that? Look, I, I, guess, get, I get chills I guess, just talking about that? it. I used to work. I used to work at this Egyptian restaurant, and there was this Jamaican guy that that worked in the kitchen. And I was like, first of all, you know, Jamaicans got these dreads working in the kitchen. I can't even stand this much hair on my head. I, I'm sweating. So I was like, I didn't know how he did it, but he was always drinking this this green thing. And I'm like, dude, what is that? He's like, I don't know. He gave it a name. He was like, you never had this. I'm like, no, bro, I ain't, I ain't Jamaican. Um, and so this is something that they that, that 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 Jamaicans make. I learned it from a Jamaican. If it's not a Jamaican thing, sue me, okay? I'm just saying I learned it from a guy. Oh. He said this is what he grew up drinking. His mama would make it from him. Of course, he made it with sugar. We're gonna make a keto version of it. Okay. But this is super refreshing. It's like so it's gonna bring us back to Jamaica. Listen, it's like you're injecting an <laughs> air conditioner into your skin. Right. It's crazy, and it's very simple. It's just take, a few take ingredients. Us to Jamaica right now. So briefly. let's uh let's get take into us to it. Jamaica now. I have here, right, you can't have a cucumber drink without cucumber. And this is so easy to make. You can make it in a blender. You can make it in a magic bullet. If that's what you have, I have cucumber, okay. which I'm just going to slice up into chunks and throw this in the blender. And for those okay. joining us, let us know where you're coming in. Let us know who's here, who's joining us on our YouTube or Facebook. Let us know. Come on in and welcome. And for those that are returning guests welcome back welcome back we're excited to have yeah, you yeah so excited so excited, excited. this is super simple to make guys i promise you if you prep this it's gonna change your life okay it's gonna yeah prepping takes it, it i mean you yeah because we we takes, heard that jamaica's few, hot it takes a few few minutes to prep certain things but then you have absolutely have it so, for the rest of the week you know we have some fresh ginger here, the skin on and all. We're not even going to peel it, okay? I'm just going to slice this up. So even with the skin? Skin on and all, okay? Because that's a lot of flavor in that and nutrients. Okay, so we're going to throw that in there. 
Now, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. And so, if oh you've seen God. us last week, we did a couple of uh, drinks and we zested our lemons for those. So, we keep those lemons, right? They're still good. And uh, we're going to use the juice here of, uh, of one lemon. If I was a strainer, where would I be? Okay. So, we're just going to use a strainer here so we don't get those seeds in there. Wonderful. Guys, like my lovely wife said, if you're watching, let us know where you're tuning in from. Comment. Ask your questions. We're here to answer all your questions. This is the beauty of being live. Put us on the spot. See if yeah. we know what we're talking about. Engage. Okay? We, love, we love conversating with you guys. We love to answer your questions. And share this. If you know someone who's looking for delicious meals, who's always on the go, who doesn't have the quote-unquote time to you know, to eat as healthily as they like, please share this with them, okay? They, they, they will thank you, all right? That's why we're keto cooking with love because that's what we're about, spreading the love. So, oh, hold on. Did you forget something, my Yes, love? baby. What did you forget? I forgot to add some water. It is a water, okay? And I also forgot to add our keto sweetener. So we're using a, <laughs> a, a, granule, a powdered keto sweetener. Okay. This is just, that's literally what it's called. We bought this at ShopRite. And we usually use Swerve, but okay, uh, gonna, yeah, we're just going to yeah. eyeball it. But Swerve, in addition to having erythritol, also has a few other things. So I don't use it as much as I used to, even though I do sometimes. So I, I've been favoring this one the here swerve. that we got. So we got some water, all right, because you can't have a cucumber ginger water without the water. All right, wonderful. Now... Now let's get busy. What here. about the, the chili? That's that after? What chili? So you said something about a spice. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, doesn't that smell delicious? <laughs> You're the spice, baby. You're the spice. Okay? All right. And that's how quickly that is to do. Let me get this out of the way because I feel like it's covering the cutting board. So, all right. Down you go. So, and then... Here, baby love. No, because it's going to pour out. So then all you're going to do is strain this. All right. You can use your spoon. You want to extract all of that delicious, delicious flavor. Do you want me to pour as you? Yes, honey. Okay, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> Someone gets excited. I'm ready. Always ready for a good drink. All right. But these are things that you can make in advance. And absolutely. Have on store and absolutely. Put them in the fridge Go ahead. And... Carefully. Yeah. Thank you. And then, whenever you want a nice, cooling, refreshing drink, you have it. So, I mean, it's, it's what it's called meal prep, right? So, we. It's good to have. Absolutely. Wrap it up. But if you live in a hot climate, like some of our friends do, all right, this is a great way. You can pack this. You can bring it to work, and you can just have it over some ice, and this will cool you. This is great to take to the beach. Thank you, babe. Love. Okay. You put a nice tall mug. Mm -hmm. Put it in your Yeti. You need to get yourself a Keto Cooking With Love Yeti. You can go on our website, KetoCookingWithLove.com, and get one of those. And flex, because none of your friends got one, all right? All right, so I'm going to stop right, right there for now. Okay. You can put that off to the side. Mm -hmm. And, oh, look at that. Beautiful, vibrant green. Amazing. Amazing. Look Cheers, baby love. Good. <laughs> Cheers to you guys Cheers, at home. Guys. And welcome back mm, to our smell season it, baby. Smell and it. our episode four. Yes. Smell it. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's the ginger. Oh, my mm. God. That's the it's ginger. It's refreshing. It's that's spicy. The ginger. Just like it. the islands, man. <laughs> Boudica, boudica. Okay, now. You know what it reminds me of also? You know what, how baby? they have those, uh, like, uh, cleansing with water and the cucumber, ginger? That's almost like it, so... Ah, oh. this is called a Jamaican Ooh, Jamaican cucumber ginger water. Look at that. That's good. 
It that's that's right. even better than the one that I, that I remember that I learned from my buddy. Now, we're going to get to cooking here, guys, because we're going to do all of this in one hour. Now, I would be remiss to say that for you to be able to cook efficiently, you need to plan a little bit, okay? Sometimes the reason that people get flustered in the kitchen because they go, oh, they buy all these ingredients and they have all these ingredients and it's like, oh my goodness, I got all this stuff to do. That's not what chefs do, okay? And that's not what people who are highly effective do. You have to plan, you have to organize. So even me, who I know what I'm doing, yeah. right? Because I'm the keto master oh, yeah. chef. I have a list of everything that I'm prepping. So this is a tip right here that's going to save you loads of time in the kitchen. That's right. Write down what you're making and take a second to look at it and think about it. Like, well, what should I make first? Now, today we're not using the oven. So if there's someone that doesn't like, doesn't have an oven, you can do this on the stovetop, no problem. But a lot of this can be sped up or, the, or other versions of this. You can even save more time mm -hmm. by throwing things in the oven. Okay, so if you have a bigger family, you can get a lot more done. But we're going to show you how to do stuff on stovetop very quickly. Yeah. Okay? And, now, and, and just a, just a, a funny tip uh, thing that Jose does. He, I have these all over the house, all over. So I'm ready to rip them up. He says, no, baby, I need that. And he'll, he'll actually tape them. <laughs> he'll tape them up right here. So when I come into the, to the kitchen, everything is taped up with all everything, you know, his little mijan plaz. <laughs> That's right, which is French for everything in this place, okay? So it is funny. If you want to be efficient, you have to get organized, okay? So you just take a second, plan what you're doing. It's going to go a lot I faster, a, little a lot bit of OCD. quicker. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> she tolerates me somehow, some way. Now, I'm making three different proteins and six different sides, okay? Now, a lot of people don't eat certain things. So if I'm making something that you don't eat, that's okay. You don't have to make it. You can make more of the other stuff. You can make something else. I'm going to give you tips on other things that you can do that are also easy. But I'm just making this to show you some versatility. We're going to make six total dishes. So this will give you six dinners, okay? Or you can make extra of it and have, have for lunch, okay? It's just about being efficient and, and eliminating the paradox of choice. Another thing that overwhelms people is like the... Listen, keep it simple. Yeah. All right. Meal prep is about keeping it simple. Pick mm -hmm. two, three at the most proteins that you're going to have for the week. And that way, you know, okay, I'm having this twice, this twice, this twice. A lot of our clients don't eat a lot of different things. They might just be pescatarians. They might just eat chicken and fish. And so that just makes it simpler and easier. Now you just have to focus on the, your side. Your so we're going to show you veggies. six different yep. sides just to give you some variety. And, you know, you can pick from this whatever you like, okay, experiment it. This is so good, it baby. Is, it's very refreshing, actually, very refreshing. So for those joining us, I see a few that are coming in. Just say hello. Drop drop a, a heart, a heart, a thumbs up. Let us know. Engage with us. Let us know where you're coming from also. Um, but, yeah, thank you for joining us. All right. Now, I'm going to, while we cook, I'm going to share with you some tips that are going to make your food even tastier, okay? So let me get my cutting boards here. This is the fish. This is the beef. Get you some of these cute little colored cutting boards. And uh, when you're cooking a whole bunch of stuff, just keep your station clean, and it just makes it easier to work. So let me get my fire on. More fire! More fire! Let me put my... Uh... My bifocals on so I can see the comments because they're actually there. I just didn't see them. So we're gonna the the, the three proteins that I we're making. Myself up. The three proteins that we're making. We're making ribeye, a garlic butter ribeye. We're making a Cajun salmon, and we're making my signature curry chicken. I Which is funny because we made chicken. curry chicken recently for somebody, and I forgot to put the curry. She was like, "This don't taste like your curry," and I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, me, where's the curry?" So I'm like thinking, like. I didn't put the curry. Okay. So. Shame on me. But now, so I'm going to give you a lot of chef tips. I recommend that you take some notes. I'm going to give you tips to make your food taste beyond restaurant quality. All right. So I just want to give a quick shout out while you're getting that all warmed up for all the viewers that came in. And I somehow missed it. But anyway, Reggie, Reggie, what Reggie. What up, Our Reg? Hey, fam, to you too. Welcome, welcome. And thank you for joining us. On uh, here on this Tuesday evening, evening, not Wednesday, because I did say Wednesday early on, on another platform. 
Uh, Denise, cousin Denise, all what up, up cuz? Hey, 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 our friend also viewing from Houston, Texas, Miss Tammy Johnson. Hey, hey. Uh, we have Miss Barbara Ann. Hello, Hi, that's the young Barbara. lady that we want to do the show in uh, Jersey, Barbara Ann. What the why that we recorded the two episodes? Oh my God! Yes, yes. Well, welcome and thank you for coming on today. Thank you. And Louis, Louis Jones is on. Welcome. What welcome, up, Lou? Lewis. You can always count on Louis. If thank, something's thank happening, for, he's there. For you guys coming in, supporting, and engaging with us. I I know I crack myself up. Alan Stolis is. Alan, here. mi hermano, que lo que? que? What up? <laughs> que lo que? That's my brother it's right there. Lady. <laughs> That's my brother right there. Oh Say hello to Estela. Hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, That's his daughter. Estella. His twin, his Hi, gorgeous Estella. twin. Hey, and Estella. You, and she, you're watching us from YouTube. Hi, Estella. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Happy Tuesday. We're going, Happy to, we're going to Florida Tuesday. soon. No, vamos a juntar. Vamos a un bonche. <laughs> we'll All right. be there shortly, yes. So, guys, I got some grass-fed ribeye steak. Now, chef tip number one for you to make restaurant-quality food. When you're going to sear meat, you need to get your pan hot first. If there's no sizzle, you ain't cooking, all right, especially with love, okay? So if you wonder why sometimes you make a steak and it looks gray, it looks like Herman Munster, it's because your pan is not hot. You need to get your pan hot. Step number two, you need to get your meat completely dry. Because oil or fat is a conduit for heat. But we know that oil and water don't mix. mix. So right. if your meat is wet, there's going to be a separation between the oil and the meat getting on it. And you're not going to get that nice golden dark sear that you get in restaurants. Another thing, do not season your meat with salt too far in advance. Salt draws out moisture. Again, water on the surface level. So, Did you guys know that? That tip that he just gave? Another. That's salt. That's why they're you tuning in here. Season now, it ahead of time. sometimes people do prison their meat with salt for whatever reason. That's fine, but you need to pat your meat dry before you actually put it in That's the a great pan. Tip. Okay. That now, is a great tip. so we're gonna dry our meat here really nicely. Now we're gonna season liberally. I got fresh cracked pepper. Okay, you can use whatever type of seasonings you like. If you like Montreal steak seasoning, you can use that. I'm just using some, I'm just using some salt and pepper because I got some good quality steaks. And that's the thing about God makes no mistakes. So if you have good quality food, it's going to taste good on its own. You just have to put a little love in it. <laughs> All right? Some keto love. Too. That's right. Some of that keto love. So my pan is getting hot here. Beautiful. Now, that's heating up. And we got our avocado oil. Again, we love to cook with avocado oil. It has a neutral flavor and a high smoking point. You want to use healthy fats. Most of these industrial uh, seed oils, canola oil, corn oil, vegetable oil, grapeseed oil, soybean oil, peanut oil, they have an unhealthy ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids, which inflames your gut. We just put up a video this morning on, yeah. on the ultimate <clears throat> detox, how to cleanse your body naturally yeah. without buying any products, any detoxes, any of that. Mm -hmm. Because if you buy a detox or you buy something like that, sometimes if you don't do it correctly, it causes more problems, all right? And I can go down a whole scientific rabbit hole. I'm not going to do that. But the other <laughs> thing is that if you buy a detox to de detoxify your body and you do not change your diet, mm -hmm. you just, you're just throwing money in the, in the trash can, is, all right? Don't throw the money. True. Send it to us, that okay? Well. True. Now, and, and, and besides that one, the detox cleanse um, video that you made, you also have a few more. We had the keto for beginners. Yes. And also, so look into that, you know, in YouTube. Uh, actually, hit that notification bell button on our YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified when Jose comes on and gives you some, you know, quick tips and videos that can help you. We just, and, we and just started posting you. videos daily. So also that he has a diabetic, uh, keto diabetic video yep diet on, on, the, well. on, the, on the bright diet for people with diabetes so, yeah look into those all right so you While can hear the cooking, sizzle you put your youtube channel on and see let me get the you microphone know? close make sure you can hear this sizzle okay so now, we, have a few, we have a few here that wasn't aware of that shit that you mentioned a few of those mm -hmm. um to be say that she didn't know because her father was a steak um lover 
steak master. Yeah. Got it. So. Now, let me tell you something else. When you put your meat ah. in the pan, <laughs> listen up. When you put your meat in the pan, do not move the meat around. Again, you're going to lose that sear. What you want to do is that you want to move the pan around so that you can get the oil completely under everything. Like I said, oil is a conduit for heat. So we want to get the oil transferred to that and get it cooking. So All right. Say real quick, uh, Carlos Rivera. Hey, what up, brother? On. Yes, just came on. Welcome, welcome, Carlos. Saluda ya, Tere. And he asked, what about the adobo? When, adobo. You know, because we know the saw is a conduit. So. Now, adobo is absolutely okay. However, uh, I depending, think you just made it a joke, but. <laughs> Depending on your goals, you have to you want to look at labels because adobo does have a lot of preservatives. So you can actually make your own adobo very easily using garlic powder, onion powder, um, and some other dry spices in there. I would look at the ingredients of the adobo and I would highly recommend making your own. Uh, but again, this is not something that you know, unless you put an adobo on everything, including your water, you should be okay. Do you? But it does it does have it does have certain preservatives which like when I talked about cleaning your gut and uh, detoxifying, you want to avoid foods that have preservatives because preservatives are basically antibiotics, right? They're, they're meant to kill bacteria, and your stomach has healthy bacteria, which it needs to break down food and for you to be able to draw the nutrients from your food. So overall, you always want to make sure that things are not loaded with preservatives. And how do you know if something has preservatives? Look at the ingredients. If there's something in there that you don't know, that is probably a preservative, okay? So I got a bunch of garlic here. My wife loves garlic. I do love garlic. There's going to be a garlic butter steak. I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And I'm not afraid to say it. I love garlic. I'm not afraid of garlic. No, there's nothing to be afraid about. You know, the, the Roman soldiers used to eat raw garlic before going to war because of its, uh, its health properties. So... And I got some butter here. Make sure the butter you're buying is real butter. I know that sounds funny, but one time I sent Jeanette to buy butter. And, you know, she grabbed the first thing she saw because I was in a rush. I said, hey, just go to the closest store and buy butter. And then when I looked at it, I'm like, babe, this is not butter. She's like, what do you mean? And it said buttery spread. Yes. It was like 80% margarine, soybean oil, completely unhealthy. And you Food. would think that I would know. No. I just, I like you said, make sure you read the ingredients. I just saw the first thing I grabbed, which is a no-no. That's okay. Now, I'm seasoning the other side because cows don't come seasoned from the farm, okay? And I just want to show you this sear here, how this is coming along. This is the beauty of cooking live, okay? So, <laughs> look at that, guys. Look at that. Tell me if you can see that. Let me come around. Let me get in this camera. You be careful with that. Let me know, baby. Let me know if I'm on camera. You're, you're on camera. The steak is on camera, my love. There you go. That's what your steak should look like, okay? That's what it should look like. That's what it should look like. Beautiful steak. Okay, now. I can taste it already. So what I'm drinking is, uh, baby, again, what's it's the name? It's a Jamaican cucumber, coconut, uh, no, Jamaican, Jamaican Cuc cucumber and ginger water. So we just took some whole cucumber, cut it up into pieces, some fresh, just cut it up into pieces, some fresh lemon juice, and our keto-friendly sweetener. We're using erythritol, okay, and water. And we pureed that in the blender, took it out in a strainer, all and the squeezed, out. squeezed out the oh, liquid. Those are liquids, yes. But again, the recipe will be, for those joining us, uh, usually um, tomorrow, the recipe, the full recipe, of all these dishes will be on YouTube tomorrow. So we'll share that with you guys. And again, if you're coming in, this is uh, dedicated for meal prep. So you have a whole plethora of meals for the week. So we're just starting right now with the ribs, right? With the ribeye. Ribeye. Sorry, ribeye, not ribs. Ribeye. Well, it comes from the rib of the cow. That's why it gets the name. And you know what's the best part of the garlic for me is when it gets toasty and it gets like brown all over. <laughs> so we like our steaks medium. So I'm going to pull it here and let it rest. Okay. Whatever temperature you like your steaks, you have to stop it a little bit before because the carryover heat is going to continue to cook it. 
All right, and we're just gonna let those rest. We we, we apologize in advance for making you hungry, but yeah. see, but we're giving you all these wonderful tips, wonderful creative ideas that you can do now for the rest of the week, or you can start next week, fresh, and do your meal prep. All right, now I am going to. Whew, I'm toasting up the, the the garlic for my love because she likes it toasty. So I'm just letting that toast up. Next, like I said, we're using our list here so we can go in order and uh, be efficient on time. But what I'm going to do is right here inside of that butter and garlic, I'm going to cook one of our veggies, which is our asparagus. Again, okay? Time saving tip. Yeah. Okay? Time saving tip. Little pepper because it doesn't come seasoned from the farm. A little salt. All right? And we're going to let that sear. I'm using some pencil asparagus. This will cook quicker than the larger asparagus, so I prefer for that reason. But uh, there's there's no right or wrong here. Just whatever type of asparagus you like, all right? And if you don't like asparagus, that's okay. Don't have asparagus, all right? This is a no-judgment zone. That's right. Next in that pan, I'm going to cook another side, which is our spinach, okay? So this is all about being efficient. In one pan, we're going to cook three things and only do dishes that. one time, all right? Now, let's get into the next dish. We're going to go gonna with... eating before you know it, babe. Exactly. <laughs> Pass me the salmon, my love. Yes, my love. And a little bit later on, we're going to have a special guest. This is yeah, a, this one, is okay. yes, one, of the, one of the participants in our current challenge who's doing amazing. Yes, She's going to come and share on board. some of her wait. results. And if you guys don't know, we have a new challenge. This is my fifth year doing challenges. We have a new challenge kicking off this Labor Day. If you're a, 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 a business owner, an entrepreneur, sort of the same, um, uh, uh, you know, a, a working professional, a parent, okay, your, ch your children need you. You need to be healthy. If you came into 2023 and you said, this is the year, this is the year that I'm going to get healthy, I'm going to get serious about my health, this challenge is for you. It kicks off Labor Day. So if that's something that you're interested in, send us a message, comment below, send us a DM, get in contact with us. We'll sit down and talk and find out if this is the right program for you. Because if it's not the right fit for you, I don't want you to do it. But if you're someone who's committed and you want to end 2023 in a bang, you want to strut into 2024 like Deion Sanders, high-stepping into the new year, <laughs> this is the challenge for what you. What about for the females? Men, women, if you're someone, I'm just saying you you say Deion Saunders. Well, because that's his dance, baby. That's his touchdown dance. You want to be like a. What's your know. touchdown dance? Show me. Show no, me your I touchdown don't have dance. One. All right. Well, then no, we need to come up with <laughs> a touchdown do, dance. I'm drop it like it's hot. <laughs> we, need to, we need to come up with a family friendly <laughs> touchdown like dance for the ladies. Okay. So oh. we've got our salmon here, and again, we're gonna dry this off. Now, I think this came with scales. Let me see. I think this came with scales, but listen, not to worry. If your fish has scales, yep, you can just take a knife and you can just remove the scales right here, okay? It takes just 30 seconds. I'm doing this right before your eyes. So Carlos had said that, well, I think when you put the uh, asparagus in, he says, Green beans for him. Green beans are cool. So that's, yeah, absolutely. There you go. Yeah, listen, guys, this, this is the thing. Like, different strokes for different folks, right? Some people love asparagus. We like asparagus. We don't eat it that often, but we do like it. Yeah. And oftentimes, if we go to a restaurant and they don't have our favorite, which is broccoli or Brussels sprouts, you know, we'll, or we'll have, you know, spinach or asparagus. It's not our first choice, but we do like it. Okay, so I'm just getting these scales off here because this fish came from the from the ocean. Fresh, fresh. Yeah. So you want me to um turn over this asparagus? I got here? it, baby love. Just let me get one of the plastic containers, please. The meal prep one. Yes, please. All right, and just like that, we've cleaned our salmon. All right, let me get that on the cutting board. So just like that, our asparagus is done. I'm going to grab my tongs. 
and pull that out. A family friendly touchdown dance. That's why we're going <laughs> to go and get one. I'm going to do All one right. family friendly touchdown dance. That's some veggie. Now, asparagus is done. But wait, there's more. Put that right over there yep. to the side. We got our bag of spinach. And spinach is like the quickest thing to cook. Like you can look at it, and you know, done. and it's done. And it's done. Let so, all right. So I've got my bag of spinach here. I'm going to dump it right in there. What? Hannah Montana said, what? Spinach is flying everywhere. Let's pick this up from the floor. I can't see stuff on the floor. It gets me crazy. We're gonna season it a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, right? And then it miraculously disappears. This <laughs> takes, yeah, exactly. This takes like a second to cook. Like I could literally turn off the pan right now and just cook this with the heat of the pan. Because we're not making sauteed spinach. We're making wilted spinach, okay? Which means that as soon as it softens, it is done. So my pan is off. Just move this all about. Do the hokey pokey. All right, let me get another container, baby. Yeah. Any questions, guys? You're free to join and, and put them on. Write them down on, uh, on your comments. So we can engage with you guys. All right, there you go. And if, if there's any any meals or dishes you want us to recreate, I keep looking down because I can see the comments, so that's why I keep looking down. Any deal uh, deals, any meals you would like for us to recreate and make them, we can keto the them. Yes, my love, we can keto them for you. Just let us know. We can be creative, right, baby? Yes. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a crispy skin salmon, all right? And again, this kind of starts with what, what we described already, which is you need to have a hot pan before you start. Ah! I like the skin. I like the crispy skin. Yes. Not many people like the skin. I see them like taking it out, but I do enjoy having yeah. the skin. And the skin has great healthy benefits, Pretty, actually. So Tons and tons of healthy omega-3, okay? The skin is where it's at, yeah. all right? Skin is always where it's at. If you haven't pernil, the skin is where it's at. If you haven't chicken, the skin is where you're at. Okay? It's, it's, all, it's, it's always where it's at, right? So, we're going to get our pan hot here. And once it's hot and ready to go, then we are going to season, right? We don't want to season in advance. All right? These scales is trying to get on me. but uh, They are kind of like sticky. That's mm -hmm. why. Now... While that's working, hop behind. Yeah. I'm going to get another pan here. We have a couple of side dishes, okay? We're going to make Brussels sprouts two ways. So, so far we made steak, spinach, and asparagus, right? One, one entree, two sides. Next, we're going to make salmon, uh, Cajun salmon, all right? So, we're going to season this with a little bit of chili powder. I want to take off the paper Absolutely. from that, my love. Thank you. A little bit of chili powder, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Okay. For some reason, I thought this was already prepped. <laughs> <laughs> I must have missed that. All right. Sushi. Well, I, I, I just bought it? that. I just bought that. A little bit of cayenne because we like it spicy. If you don't like it spicy, on, you don't have to use this. Okay. Again, you can season this however you like. We're just giving you some options because sometimes people... You know, like I said, we have a lot of things that we are in charge of, a lot of decisions to make. And sometimes we just want somebody to, you know, Jesus, to take the wheel. Okay, so we're, we're here spreading the love of Jesus, taking the wheel for you guys. So my pan is hot. I can tell because it's smoking. I'm going to add my avocado oil. All right. Getting hot in here. Another tip. <laughs> when you place the food, you want to place the food away. From you, so if it splashes, it doesn't splash That's towards right. you. So place the whatever protein close to you, and then lay it away from you. Okay, close to you and lay it away from you. You can put this in the sink, yeah. baby love. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And again, we're not gonna move our protein. We're not gonna move our fish. We're just gonna move the pan so we can coat it. 
all right, and get that skin nice and crispy. One thing about when you cook proteins, especially fish, you don't want to be turning your, your steaks over back and forth, back and forth. You don't want to turn your burgers back and forth, back and forth. Ideally, you want to cook it half on one side and then half on the other. So be patient. Don't be in a hurry to turn it over. Let it cook. Okay, let it cook. I'm going to cut the heat down a little bit. All right, because we don't want to burn it. We just want to sear it. Ah! Nah. It's okay. Now, wonderful. Now, pass me the bacon, baby. We're going to make Brussels sprouts two ways. The first one is one of our favorites. Uh, some people don't eat pork, right? So if you don't eat pork, you don't have to, you don't have to, you know, do this recipe. You can completely do it without the pork as well. But some people cook bacon and they're like, the bacon sticks to my pan. The bacon sticks to my pan. That is because you're putting your bacon into a hot pan. So chef tip. Cold pan. Start your bacon in a cold pan. And this will prevent it from sticking. Okay? Listen, guys. If nothing else, you're going to learn how to cook today. Right. Okay? <laughs> if nothing else. If you was wondering, I hate cooking bacon. It always sticks to my pan. You can also make this in the oven. That's a great way to make bacon. And the cool thing about that is that while it's cooking in the oven, you can go work on something else. All right? So let me get my pan on. And that's one thing I, I, I did not know. Because I used to cook my bacon, you know. Sticky. Stick, like, yeah. I would turn the, the stove on and cook it that way. But then So I that's going to heat up. And we're going to have fun with that. So the salmon's almost ready to turn over. Now, a lot of people like their salmon well, well done. That's okay. We do eat our salmon medium well, close to well done. However, because we're meal prepping, you don't want to cook it all the way. Same with the steak. If you like your steak medium mm -hmm. and you're meal prepping, cook it about rare, a little bit more than rare. When it rests, it's going to come to medium rare. And then you, when you reheat your food, you're going to have a nice medium steak. But if you like your steak medium and you cook it medium for your meal prep, then when you go heat your lunch at work, now you got a well-done steak, right? And that's not the way you like it. So right. just meal prep is about thinking in advance and, and saying, what do I want this to look like at the end? And then reverse engineering that. Okay? That's all that we're doing. It's not rocket science. Our viewers here uh, said that... Um... He did bacon and his air fryer. Mr. Carlos Rivera, I love your engagement today. Yeah. Awesome. Because, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do use air fryers. You know, they say they, they're supposed to be like, uh, they, they're quick, right? And uh, that's healthy as well. To convenient, quick convenient. cleanup. Yeah, and that's, there you go, quick cleanup. So people ask me all the time, remember we went uh, to Olga's? Yeah. Like, how did, how we get this, crisp, this skin so crispy? How we get this skin so crispy? So part of getting that skin crispy is the things that I said. Dry your fish off. Get your pan hot. Before you put your oil in the pan, get the pan hot. Add your oil. Lay your fish down. Don't move it. Just move the pan and let the pan and the oil do the work. Okay? Let it cook, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Okay? And, um... And then, again, we're not going to be turning our, skin, our, our, our salmon back and forth, back and forth over. We're just going to turn it one time, and we're going to let it just finish cooking. Just let it cooking. do its thing. All right? Let it do its thing. So, while this is going. Less splashing. That, yeah, that's true um, for the bacon and the air fryer. Yeah. That is true. Absolutely. Less, Absolutely. Less messy. That's true. So, so I'm going to leave this in the pan, okay, to continue cooking to about medium while we continue cooking. So again, if your meal prep, this doesn't take a long time, all right? This doesn't take a long time. You just leave it in the pan, let it continue to cook. It's going to come to medium, medium well. Then you pack your lunch. When you heat it at work, everyone's going to be like, why you made that fish? It smells like fish in here. <laughs> your problem. I'm eating healthy. Hallelujah. All right? So Drum roll. next, we're making Brussels sprouts two ways. The first way is, baby love. Just let me know. So this is, she's this, my official. This is what the sous chef does. I she, do. She's the official ginger peeler. You can't buy one of these in a store. Okay. <laughs> but the right way to peel ginger is with a spoon. A, it's safer than a vegetable peeler. Right, baby? Yeah. It's safer. <laughs> and that way you can get inside the grooves. You just need a regular spoon and you can peel your ginger. Okay. So we're going to make Brussels two ways. The first one 
is uh, we're going to saute a little bit of ginger and a little bit of garlic. Well, actually, we're not going to, we are going to saute it, but, and I've talked about this before, we're going to do a technique called extraction, okay? Extraction is when you start with whatever it is that you're doing inside of cold oil, and then you heat it up, and this way we're going to infuse the oil with the flavor of whatever it is you have. So if you wanted to make a chili oil, you will start with oil and chili flakes cold and heat that up. If you wanted to make a garlic oil, you will start with garlic and oil. Thank you, baby. And heat it up, okay? And this way, by starting cold and, it, and heating it up together, you're extracting all of the flavors. So that's what we're going to do. And that flavor is going to go all throughout these Brussels sprouts, okay? And yes, I attempted to peel. That's why he made that little side note there because I attempted to peel a, a little nub of a ginger with a peeler and I cut myself. Now, in fairness, it is called a peeler, right? Yeah. So it wasn't like it wasn't like she used a gun to peel the ginger, right? She used the peeler, but that that's why we're here to that's why we're here to teach you guys what's the safest and most efficient way. Now, while this heats up, I'm going to cook, I'm going to cut the Brussels sprouts. Again, we want to always be thinking about the steps that we're taking so that we can be efficient with our time. Okay, so some big Brussels, she said. And all I'm doing is cutting, slicing halfway through, all the way to the stem pretty much, and then slicing across, being careful, taking my time so I don't, I don't get my little nubs here all messed up. And it's safer to cut it with the uh, end still intact. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you can use that, that end as a way to hold. That's right. To grip. The, bu the Brussels mm -hmm. sprout in place. Okay. So beautiful. Nice. Our bacon is starting to heat up. And again, I'm not going to move that. You don't have to put any oil in the pan when you cook bacon because it's going to render its own fat. Okay. I'm going to season my garlic and ginger, a little bit of salt and pepper. Let's see how we're doing on time. Woo! Let's go, baby. We're doing amazing. Now, we're getting close to pull up to pulling up our, our guest of honor here. All right. We'll let you know. But guys, if you're just joining us, we have a new challenge. If you're looking to, if you came into 2023 saying, I'm gonna get healthy this year. You know, you know, remember those New Year's resolution, which is basically a two-week plan. Things happen. Life happens. Life happens. We understand that. Everything sometimes gets in the way. You put it in the back burner. Oh. I'll wait till next year. I'll wait till after the summer or I don't know. We all come up with reasons and excuses, right? Mm -hmm. um, like my boy Inky Johnson said, you got reasons and you got results, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, reasons don't count. Okay? So if you're, if you're committed to getting results before this year is out, send us a message, comment below. Let's have a chat and let's see if this challenge is right for you. If it's not right for you, I don't want you to do it. You can okay? put it in the comments. Let us know. We'll reach out to you. Woo! You hear that sizzle? I hear the sizzle. And I smell right. so good in here. Little salt and pepper. There's many, many scents. aromas. Yes, aromas. All right. This needs a little bit more oil. Don't be scared of oil, guys. Healthy oil is good for you. Okay? Avocado oil. Sit the avocado oil. Yes, baby. Avocado oil, guys. All right. Now, let me cut up the rest of these Brussels. We're going to do them, use them in the next dish. Do we have a healthy smoothie I can do at home? So, if you're doing keto, yes. Right? Now, in keto, we don't do a lot of fruit because fruit is still sugar. Okay, so there's not going to be any banana in your smoothie. Uh, we do do, on occasion, dark berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. Okay, on occasion, not as a rule of thumb. We 
We do more dark. All not right. So much the strawberry. Yes. Strawberries once in a while. But well, no, no, I'm talking about what people can do. Oh, okay. What people yes, can do. Yes, okay? okay. I'm talking about in keto. You can yes. use you can use dark berries. Okay. However, that's few and far between because they still have sugar. So right. w- one of the 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 smoothies that I like to make and a lot of my clients make and listen some people like it some people don't so try it out and see if you like it or not but you can use coconut milk you can put an avocado in there you're not going to taste the avocado you can put a little bit of ginger a little bit of turmeric okay and you can put a keto friendly sweetener and that makes a nice delicious kind of like pina colada ish milkshake minus pina minus a pineapple Yep, just okay. coconut milk. So you can use coconut you can milk, use you can use water. water. Some people use almond milk, but we've talked about this before. 99% of the almond milk on the market is fake. It's not real almond milk. It's water, almond extract, and some type of thickener, gore gum, zanzam gum, something to give it a little bit of viscosity so it doesn't taste like the water that it is. Okay, so you just have to like read the labels. Okay, if you want to use uh, you know almond milk, that's okay. Just know. It's not really almond milk, okay? Yeah. Ooh, look at that flame. All right. So she likes my love likes it charred. I I'm gonna put like- I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in here for flavor. If you don't like butter or your plant based, you, got- you know what I mean? You can omit. <laughs> See the smoke. And now that is nice and charred, I'm gonna add a touch of water. All right, and that's just gonna help steam it and soften it. All right, it actually does not take a long time to cook Brussels sprouts. Looks like a whole party in there. Basically. <laughs> so our bacon is starting to cook up in here. I'm gonna turn the fire up a little bit. All right, our bacon's starting to cook up in there. And again, since you're meal prepping, you don't have to. You know, this is, a, this is a fresh vegetable. You don't have to cook the heck out of it and, and take out all the flavor and nutrition. Plus, because we're meal prepping, you're going to be reheating this later, okay? So you want to cook it until just when it's done, knowing that it's going to be reheated later, okay? All right, wonderful. So we got bacon going, Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts two times, salmon is cooked, ribeye is cooked. Woo! We're having fun. So... While this is working, we're going to bring our guest of honor. So we have one of our lovely uh, challenge members right now. She's in our program, and she's going to just share with us a little bit about how it's going in the program. Uh, she's been in the program now for eight weeks. She's already hit her target uh, her, her, her target weight that she wanted to hit by the end of the program, and that's super exciting. We're so proud. Yep. We're so happy. So, <laughs> so proud. So go ahead, baby. Her. Add her on. Yes. You ready, young lady? I came Let's go. Hair did, nails did, everything. No, no, no. Just hit that, baby. Here. That, there, baby. Uh-huh. No Hi. Hi. Welcome. How you doing, Hi. sis? I'm great. I'm great. Oh, oh my God. You guys are making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know we're going to be in Houston soon. Get that kitchen ready. Yes. So, lovey, let me ask you a couple of quick questions here. I know you've been in our program for a while. Tell me, how's it going? How are you feeling? It's going great, and I'm feeling great. Awesome, That's awesome. What we like to hear. Now, let me ask you this. When, when, when we first met, and you told me how committed you were, right, to getting healthy, yes. and I told you the price, I remember your jaw dropped. <laughs> <laughs> right. But after I thought about it for a few uh, minutes, I said, you know what? It's worth it. Let's do it. And now that, now that you've been in the program... Has it been worth it? Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. I've challenged you, right? I've challenged you every single week, right? Yes. Oh, we're my t- God. And we're so. taking it up a notch every single week, every single week, right? Yeah. And and the devil keeps trying you. He keeps throwing roadblocks in your way. Oh, my God. That's but God is good. Yes. Yes, he is all the time. So if someone was thinking about doing the challenge, they were on the fence, and they're wondering, oh, is this for me? Is it really going to work? Is, is it worth it? What would you say to them? I would say, yes, do it. It's worth it. It is well, well worth it. Awesome, awesome. Go ahead, Pammy. I was going to say, just I, my mind was set. 
once I, once I got the uh, the monies out of the way, I my mind was set and I was ready to go. So what the challenges I welcomed. I said this is going to help me in the long run. So I said let's do it. So yeah. I welcomed it and I you, was so you, happy that I did. You also you had that goal. You had that goal already, and you wanted to change. Okay, something. So that's why you took that approach and you didn't give up and you had that mindset of just going for it, right? And Absolutely. once you're in it, you're committed. All you can do is keep pushing through until you meet that goal, which you did. And we're very proud of you. Yeah. Now, when we have our coaching calls, I know a lot of the, a lot of the, um, the principles of mindset that we talk about that I teach on are based on the Bible, right? Yes. Yes. Did you know that you can use the Bible for inspiration to get your life and health on track? Isn't that amazing? It's, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Sometimes awesome. you just, you know, you have to be reminded, you know, and that's why I said I am so grateful that I said, hey, let's do this. You're already doing it. You and your lovely wife are already doing it. So I said, hey, mm -hmm. let, let's do it. Let's do it. We gave you that little nudge. Right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, thank Pammy. Thank you and, for joining us. And yes. we talk about this all the time. You are an inspiration to us. Absolutely. You know, uh -huh. seeing, seeing, seeing your glow. We talked about it today that the, the biggest change is the smile. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you always smile. Don't get me wrong. You always smile. It's bigger now, right? It's bigger now. <laughs> it's bigger now. But thank you she for joining us. She got that confidence coming in now. Yeah. Bro. I like that. I like that. <laughs> And even before, you know, even before you did the challenge, you've always been supportive of us. You've always been tuning in. Yeah, you've always been, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, I tell people all the time, I describe you as as Jeanette's best friend. So I hope that don't hurt nobody's feelings, but it's the truth. Oh, <laughs> yes, she love is. You, Tammy, yes. Love you more, lovey. Yeah, wow. absolutely. All right, honey, take care. We're going to put right. you in the green room. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So you heard it there. If you want to change your life, we can help you. All right. And like we said, she is an inspiration to us. Definitely. Uh, it, it's been a Definitely. lot of fun. It's been challenging. Yeah. I will challenge you. Okay. Because here's the thing. If you're not, if you're not happy right now with where your health and is right now, it means that whatever you're doing is not getting you what you desire. Okay. So we're going to challenge you. We're going to push you. But the thing is you can do it. Yeah. You so my bacon came ready. off. You have to have that mindset of I am ready and I'm going for it and nothing can stop me. So I can make it, I can I take it, nothing can stop me, right? All right, baby love, you can put that off to the side, please. Oh, this pan is hot. All right, so our Brussels sprouts are done. <laughs> Excuse me, I piano. Okay. All right, wonderful. So, hot behind. Yeah. All right, now, Brussels sprouts are done. Now... We have the other Brussels sprouts that we're making, and these have bacon. Again, if you don't have bacon, you can just omit the bacon at all, saute these up, all right? This doesn't have any garlic or ginger, so just two different flavor profiles, just giving you options. But this right here is one of our favorite ways to enjoy. That's amazing the way you can do that. I would drop the whole thing in an instant. They won't have no chance. <laughs> God gave me these hands for a reason. Now, I'm going to season this up, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. There was not that much bacon fat in there, so I'm going to add a touch of avocado I oil. My, my bicycle's on again. I have somebody coming in. Use my piano. Oh, you guys. Louis just bought in the... Oh! What was that? <laughs> that tarjetita que le, que le envia del uh -huh. Thank you, mama. Yes. One, we one, one, you one. Thank you. We love uh, you. Thank you, mama. Yes. I'm glad that you received it. Uh, we have Ginny Lopez. Uh, Carlos Rivera, that's not me. Oh, okay, yeah. Oops, I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, welcome, Ginny. How are you? Uh, welcome to our channel here, Keto Cooking with Love. If this is your first time, welcome. It is our third season, our fourth, ep fourth episode. episode. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So welcome on. Oh, um, Mama, sorry, but yeah. It was, you know... It's an emotional time for you, Mama. I get it. And that was just a little touch to welcome and congratulate you. By the way, yeah. I, I have the most thoughtful wife ever. Like, I'm, I'm a terrible human being. You know, like, there's a handful of people that I wish happy birthday to. 
Like, but my wife is always thinking of everything. She'll be like, oh, I'm like, where are you at? Oh, I'm getting this for so-and-so. You know what I mean? Or so-and-so. So I thank God for her. I could never, like, if my wife, if you get something in the mail for my wife, I could never take credit from it. All right? I didn't even think of it. <laughs> that's my, that's my baby. Like, so. I'm like, I'm getting a card. It <laughs> <laughs> so we love you, cuz. Yes, we love you. All right. Now I'm going to make to you one of my signature broccoli dishes. Okay? This is my garlic broccoli. I have garlic in here. You can never have enough garlic. Okay? Again, my avocado oil. We talked a second about extraction, so I'm going to start with cold oil and raw garlic. I got that on high, and I'm going to extract the flavor from that, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, okay? And we're going to cook our broccoli in there. So I just got some broccoli florets here, all right? If you have them on the stem, you can just cut them off the stem and cut them into about, you know, not small, but just like uniform florets. And trust me when I tell you this right here, you're going to love, if you even remotely like broccoli, your kids are going to love this and be like, oh my God, mom, make that broccoli again. I am the broccoli whisperer. But you know okay? what? My, my daughter that lives in North Carolina, when I made it for her, that's all she makes now is like the, the broccoli with the chicken on the side or some, and she really, now she has that um, uh, taste for broccoli. Mm -hmm. So... Well, she's an adult, but <laughs> she loves it now. But it took me to go over there and make it so she can enjoy it. Now. Listen, that, that, that's why it's keto <laughs> cooking with love. Late. You know, never too late, right? To open up your palate, and try something different. All right, so we got this. I'm going to add some butter to my Brussels, all right, because butter is proof of God's love. And um, so all we're going to do is get this garlic to where it's nice and golden and starting to brown. I'm going to move my pan around. Let me add some water to the Brussels. Give that a quick steam. Awesome. So, guys, if you're just joining us, my lovely wife was talking earlier about, you You know, if, if you have questions on keto, give us your questions. We're here to answer them and support you. Uh, we have a bunch of videos up on the channel. Now we're starting to put videos up daily. I put a video up today about the ultimate detox, how to detoxify and cleanse your body. That's something that you're looking to do. Uh, we have a, a video on the, the, the diabetic diet. We have a video on uh, keto, for keto, keto for beginners. And so, you know, we, we're here to serve you, Okay. Like that's God's mission in our life, to serve people and please God. So if there's things that you have specific questions about, message us, comment, and we'll gladly, gladly make that content for you. So as you can see here, I put the broccoli in there, gave it a little toss so it's nice and coated with the oil. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can just use a spoon and toss it around. I'm going to use some water here. Okay. So we have Miss Darlene just uh, coming in. Hey, hey young Ms. lady. Darlene, how are, it was a pleasure meeting you today, Miss Darlene. <laughs> and I'm glad you enjoyed your time today with us because we did too. Absolutely. So now I'm going to chop up this bacon. It's going to go back into Brussels. So we're making Brussels two ways. We did one saute with garlic and ginger. And then we have one that has bacon. I know some people don't eat pork. That's okay. You know, pork is my yeah, favorite you don't vegetable. Have to. You, you can omit it. You can omit it. Miss Darlene says she enjoyed the meal today. Thank you. And it was great seeing you. Great. And meeting your mom. Oh, yeah. my OMG. 94 years old. Amazing. Looks amazing. She hey. does look great. If I look like what that at blessing. 70, I'll be happy. What a blessing. All right. So. Beautiful. So that's yeah. going. So now we're making our broccoli. Now, we started off with... Cold oil. Yes, baby. Thank you. We started off with cold oil, lots of sliced garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. We let that get hot, extract the flavor from the garlic. When the garlic started to get brown and golden, we added the broccoli, seasoned that, tossed it up. Right? I, I did it by hand, but you can do it with a spoon and make sure that your broccoli is all coated with the oil. Oil is a conduit for heat. And now we added water. We put the lid on and we're going to steam it. Okay. And we'll know it's steaming because we're going to see the steam coming off the sides. 
This is the key point. Do not open it. All right. When you're steaming things, do not open it because you're building a pressure. And when you steam it, you let go of all of that pressure. OK. And it's not that you can't close it again. But no, don't you don't want to do that. All right. We're going to let them we're going to let the steam and get it hot. All right. I'm going to show you this just takes a few minutes. I promise you this is going to be some of the best broccoli you ever had. And again, we're doing this broccoli two ways. So first we're having the garlic broccoli. But we're going to use some of this right. to do our Alfredo broccoli. Oh, oh. you didn't know about yeah, are that. Are you going to do that with the curry? or We're going to have the plain, the garlic broccoli with the curry, the got Alfredo it. broccoli with the salmon. Got, oh, okay. Okay, and then we also have, we got the salmon two ways. One is going to be with the Alfredo broccoli, and uh, the other one's going to be with the, um, with the bacon and Brussels. And then we're going to do chicken curry. Yeah. And we're going to serve one of those with garlic broccoli and one of those with the sautéed Brussels that we did before. And again, guys, we're just giving you ideas. You can mix and match however you like. Right. You can put the Alfredo broccoli with the steak. That's delicious. That's right. You can put the bacon broccoli. The hardest part of making today's menu was deciding what's to pair with what. Because I was like, oh, no, I like this with this. I like this with this. I like this with this. But I, I did the steak with the asparagus and spinach just to show you how quickly you can cook your asparagus and spinach after you've made your steak in the pan. Okay, but there's that, no there's no right or wrong. You can do this. Ready? You can do this however you like. All right. So let me get this Brussel out. Look at that guys. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> and it's supposed to be on me. All righty. Now let me put this over yeah. there maybe. And for those joining us again, you know, we are on YouTube. We are on YouTube. You can hit that notification bell button and you will be uh, notified when Jose comes on with a new video. He just mentioned that he did one on keto for beginners. He has one for the uh, diabetic diet. And he made one for the detox and cleanse video. So look up those videos. You know, actually when you're cooking, when you're making your meal, you want to be entertained. You can just check. You want me to kill this yes, also? Please. You can check yes, those please. videos as you cook. Dame la cuchara. Okay. Aquí, mi amor. Aquí. All right, guys. So, as you can see, the steam coming off this pot right here, we don't want to open this. Okay? Let, us do it. Let, it do, let it do its magic. Now, we've got our broccoli going here. We're going to make an Alfredo sauce for that. And we have one more protein to do, which is our chicken curry. All right. This is one of my signature dishes. And uh, my wife loves it. There's a few things that I make that she can eat almost every, every day. day. Every chicken day. curry, crab stuff, salmon. salmon. If yep. you haven't seen that recipe, that was episode one about four weeks ago. That's on the channel, crab stuff, salmon. We made French toast casserole so far this season. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, we made a zucchini cannelloni spinach stuff zucchini cannelloni That's another one of my with favorites. a bolognese sauce yeah. let me tell you something that was all right let me tell you something let me tell you something okay the, the leftovers was like my meal for the week. <laughs> now i'm cutting this off it's already steaming it's been steaming piping hot for about a good minute to two minutes oh don't open it don't open it for five to ten minutes let that steam in there do its magic. Ms. Darlene said her mom was watching us for a bit. Aw. Hi, mama. Yeah, I said her our love. Miss Darlene said, mama, our love. Say keto cooking with love sense love. Literally. Literally. Okay, yeah, it's a pelau. Pelau, pelau, pelau. All right, so I'm making my, my signature curry dish. We got some fresh ginger here. All right, we're going to just dice this up. All right, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just some aromatic vegetables. You could also add some scallion in here, all right, or some white onion. I've got some fresh garlic. So, Denise, are you trying this on the uh, crab stuff salmon Friday? Let us know. Let or us know. The, or the one he's making today. Let us know. Let us know which one you're making. Let us know how it Ma comes out. Manda no foto. Yeah, send us a picture. All send right. us a picture like this. 
<laughs> All right. So here we go. So we got fresh ginger and fresh garlic again into our pan. Cold oil because we're going to extract those flavors. Okay. Now. Beautiful. And this is this is this the, to, make, uh, to make the curry sauce. Yeah. So we're we're almost done. So I'm gonna get my spices ready. I've got curry powder. You don't want to forget that. Some of us, by some of us I mean me, have been known to forget it. I've got some cumin here. All right. It is pronounced cumin. Don't get cute. This is a family show. Okay. <laughs> Next we got some paprika. You can use Sweet paprika, smoked paprika, Hungarian paprika, whatever kind of paprika you like. And we've got some cayenne. That is so cute, Miss Darlene. Which is mom, th mom thinks that she, you know, she can hear us. <laughs> oh, we can hear her. That we can hear her. <laughs> oh, my mom used to do that. When we used to watch wrestling as a That's family, she would be screaming at the TV. And I'm like, Mom, they can't hear you. And I know someone, I'm not going to say no names. <laughs> But like when someone is driving recklessly, she'll be screaming at them. And the only person that hears it is my eardrums in the car. I know. Okay. And I'm like, babe, they can't hear you. Yeah, but okay. I love you. I know. So God is working in me. <laughs> that's all right. God is working on all of us. Okay. God is working on all of us. There was only one man who lived who was perfect. All right. I got a little bit too much oil there, but that's okay. Uh, Mercy's on. Hello. What up, cuz? How are you? How you doing? <laughs> welcome, what... welcome. Thanks for coming in. No shade to anyone, but that's my favorite blood cousin right there. We used to uh, we used to get punished together when we was kids, and we wanted to like play. The adults were like watching boxing and doing whatever they were doing. They would make us dance, so it would be like. We would have to dance. That's how they would entertain us. We didn't have no iPhones back then, all right? We didn't have none of that stuff you kids have. Me and Mercy just used to have to dance all day to <laughs> Boni Cepeda, okay, while our parents was talking and having fun. And then when we wanted a, when we wanted a break to get something to drink, oh, we want something to drink. They'd be like, oh, no, I mean, I'm going to And they would bring us a drink, and we'd be like taking sips and dancing, okay? That's Love you, girl. Funny. Those are wonderful memories that you now, have. So we got this nice and golden brown. I'm going to add my spices in here. Okay. And this is so quick and delicious. All right. Booyah shaka. Where's that coconut milk, baby love? It's right here. Thank you. Yeah. Right in front of, my, front of my face. You know. You can put the lids on these, yeah. please. All right. So remember how we said anything that comes in a can or a bag or a box, you want to look at the ingredients. Okay. Where? Where? Where's the... Behind you, by the coconut milk. Okay. Okay, so like for example, this coconut milk, the ingredients are coconut milk, water, all right? There's some other stuff in there, but some coconut milks, have you ever seen like how one coconut milk costs like two or three dollars and then the one right next to it is 99 cents? And you're like, I'm not stupid. I'm going to get the one that's 99 cents. Well, you ever wonder <laughs> why one is 99 cents and the one is two dollars? Read the ingredients. Most coconut milks on the market are fake, okay? Fake. It will be water, coconut extract, and a thickener. That's not coconut milk, all right? You want real coconut milk from real coconuts, okay? Now, oh, this looks so good. It smells so good. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, all right? And that's how easy it is to make this curry sauce again recipes will be up mañana yeah, yeah. okay 7 a.m tune in get it on there. yes in a second yes so let me get this broccoli off to the side i know there's a lot going on right here because it is a meal prep so we're Woo! let's we're, go let's go baby we're bringing you all the dishes tonight so you can incorporate them for your week now Está bueno, baby. Yep. I'm going to have you taste that in a second. Yeah, once, once it simmers down a little bit. Okay, now, while I get my chicken ready, I'm going to make my Parmesan. 
my Alfredo sauce, okay? So let me get my little sauce pot right here. Let me get a little bit of fresh garlic, okay? A little bit of fresh garlic, beautiful. I'm gonna slice this up. That's one thing we use a lot of is garlic. So Can you have, tell? We, we buy it by the jar, like these huge jars. Because that's all you I mean. We use it for almost everything. Everything except the water. All right. Now, here we go. Get those nubs in there. A little bit of avocado oil. Just a little bit. Let's get this on. Again, we welcome any questions, guys. Engage with us if you have any questions or comments. And you need this um, mm -hmm. lid for the saucepan? I would, not yet, no. Okay. I, well, every time I use this, you know, Alfredo is a, is a white sauce, right? And, and it always reminds me when I was in culinary school because when, when we would do white sauces, you know, the chefs, the, the French, they would be so serious. Mm -hmm about using white pepper and white sauces. Oh, we must use the white pepper. And I'm like, what do you think people are going to think it is? Pepper. Like, you know, but I digress. I, I just got triggered. It All right, honey. It yeah, brought it back. brought me back. It brought you back. All right, baby love. So what we're going to do is kind of just get, bring out the flavor of this garlic here. We have our heavy cream. Making Alfredo sauce at home is so easy and so much better than any restaurant you know, I don't want to mention no names, Olive Garden, Cheesecake Factory, like, you know, wherever you go, make your own Alfredo sauce. Just, just they put tons you, right? of tons of preservative and unhealthy stuff in those Alfredo sauces. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't want to mention no names, Olive Garden, but I used to eat there a lot. And I get it, their food tastes good. There's a reason why. Okay, there's a reason why. Now, a little bit of heavy cream. Okay. Oh, you guys are taking notes because we want to see some of these, some recipes, of these, some of these dishes. Okay. Now, when you make Alfredo sauce, you want to wait until your cream is simmering. Keep an eye on this because it will. Hold on. What is white pepper, Miss Darlene? Yes, that exactly, girl. Exactly. What is white pepper? There's actually white pepper out there. Okay, that's a great question. You put it. You, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, so, yeah, there is white pepper out there. It comes from white peppercorns. I don't know if they bleach the black peppercorns. I don't really know because it, it just sounded, it didn't, make, it didn't make any sense to me. A little bit of salt? Mm -mm, maybe just a tad. All right. Wonderful. Yeah. So, our cream is starting to simmer here. So, I'm going to go ahead and add our Parmesan. Here, my love. Yep. All right, you can use a whisk for this. I'm just using a wooden spoon. There's no right or wrong. Mm. It's so good. Mom says she likes garlic. Yeah, there we go. That's a secret right there. <laughs> it's one of the secrets. <laughs> All right, and that's how quickly you can make your own Alfredo sauce. Guys, this is super easy. We're doing three proteins, six side dishes, all in front of you, okay? This is a meal prep, but if you was cooking just one of these dishes for dinner, you would have been done by now, okay? You would have been done on yeah. the dishes. Yeah. Ah! Hot, coming through, hot, 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 hot. Wowzers. Now we're ready to open the broccoli. Look at that steam. It's perfect, okay? just the way I like it. Just the way I look like at it. that steam. So, this is how your broccoli should look. It shouldn't look, I don't know if they can see. Let me go close to the camera. This is how your broccoli should look. It should look like the package on the Jolly Green Giant. Bajalo poquito. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it shouldn't look gray. It shouldn't look like paper mache. All right. It shouldn't look like Herman Munster. So, I'm going to take some of this broccoli. You want the, the spoon with the... Um... No, that's fine, okay. baby love. Thank you, my love. Take some of this broccoli here. And it is hot. Ah! It is hot. Okay, but that's okay. 
You know, a normal person would just use a kitchen towel. But, you know, God don't make no mistakes. <laughs> so, oh, God. and just like that, let me tell you, you make this for your children, your grandchildren, they will love you. They'll be like, Grandma, can you make that creamy, cheesy broccoli? We already know that broccoli and cheese is a classic marriage, okay? It's like making a mac and cheese Listen. But it's with broccoli. Yeah, exactly, like so. an Italian Italian mac and that cheese with, with broccoli and no wait. pasta. I can't wait. All right, now we've got one last dish. One last dish, guys. Thank you for hanging on, hanging in there with us and hanging on. <laughs> Let me get that chicken, baby love. All right, I got my chicken cutting board here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get my pan hot. Excuse my piano. While I cut my chicken, I'm going to get my pan hot. If I was a glove, this is where I would be. Okay. Okay, this is a private, um, private chat. I don't know what's that. Click on it. Hammy, she's oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so we got okay. so we got a question about can you use stevia as a sweetener? Yes, absolutely. Okay, All right. Just moved. What did I do? Now I go back to uh just moved. I'm sorry guys, it's just moved. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go back up here to comments. Yes. There you go. Perfect. So yes, we got a question about sweeteners. All right. So we use erythritol. You can use stevia, you can use monk fruit, you can use allulose, okay. But you can also use Dr. Google and Google keto friendly sweeteners and you'll find which sweeteners are appropriate and just play with them. Like I don't like stevia. A lot of people love stevia. Uh, my wife loves stevia. She loves monk fruit. Monk fruit. Um, stevia basically comes from monk fruit. Um, so just just play with it and see what you like. OK, yeah. um, I like erythritol. It is the closest thing to uh, to sugar for me. Allulose is also good, but it's hard to find in stores. So I usually get that on, on, on Amazon. What about brown sugar, Miss Darlene? Is that? So not <laughs> traditional brown sugar, but but Swerve uh, makes and Lacanso, they make a keto friendly brown sugar. All right. So you just want to make sure that is that is keto friendly because um, otherwise it ain't good for your insulin. It ain't good for your blood pressure. It ain't good for your arthritis. It ain't good for none of that. Mm. OK. So, uh, so yeah, but thank you for your question. It is a valid question. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people think that certain sweeteners are healthy, like honey. You know, some people are like, oh, I don't, I don't want sugar in my tea. I'll have honey because they think it's healthier. It's not. Uh, there's this honey that got popular recently called Manuka honey. And people were swearing like this, like this literally came from, you know, Jesus. And it, it's just, a, it's just a reason to charge you $15 for a little bottle of honey. Okay. It's not healthier than any other honey. Um, yeah, I would, I would stick to, um, I would stick to keto friendly sweeteners. So Barbara, uh, Barbara Ann says she likes monk fruit and erythritol combo. Yeah. Ooh. Combo. Mm. I like. And where, where do you get it, Ms. Darlene asks? Where do you get it? So, uh, ShopRite has, um has erythritol, it has a keto sweetener. They, they actually have this brand right here that we're using today. ShopRite has this brand. It just says keto sweetener on it. Oh, it's over here, keto sweetener. And when you look at the back, the only ingredient in here is erythritol and natural flavors, which is code for, you know, some stuff. But uh, it's, it's, it, it is, it should um, not give you. And let me just say this, like in keto, yes, there's different things that we can use to substitute as sweeteners. But in general, like we still want to treat these things almost like real sugar and not really have them this often. So we're teaching you this stuff, you know, as an option, but it's not something that you want to have like every single day. Right. You know, uh, keto is about one ingredient dishes, right? Salmon, uh, you know, whatever, trout, bacon, uh, broccoli, uh, asparagus, uh, Brussels sprouts, spinach, uh, collard greens. You want one you hear Satan? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Softy. We call Mr. Softy Satan. Satan's coming around. So uh, uh, I have something that I want to mention here. Andrea Blassingham. Yeah, Blassingham. Uh, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. But I'm going to say Andrea. Uh, she said, I needed that. So glad she asked about the sweeteners. 
And this is why we say engage, because there might be a question that somebody, in, you know, uh, has it in mind, you know, or is, is wondering mm -hmm. about it. So that's, we ask, engage, ask questions, and see how we just learn something, right? So um, thank you for tuning in, Andrea. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. Yes, correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you for taking this beautiful Tuesday and uh, spending it with us um, in our kitchen, Keto Cooking with Love mm -hmm. Kitchen. Barbara says she gets hers at Shoprite and Costco, which yeah, yep, yeah, Costco, Costco yeah, is good. Yeah. Costco is good. It's convenient, right there in your local supermarket. You know. All right, baby love. Yep. Well, I'll take this. Yes. And, and you, no, I'll take this, and you okay. take that. Okay. All right, there we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Always. So I have you here. You still get the knife, my love? No, baby. Okay. I have here a little bit of arrowroot, okay, which is a thickening agent similar to cornstarch. Cornstarch has carbs. Arrowroot still has some carbs, not as much as cornstarch, but cornstarch has zero nutritional value and is GMO. So we're going to use some arrowroot here. And we just have about a tablespoon here, okay? We're not using a lot. And Andrea, we love that you're loving this. This is yes. why this is why we do this. We we do this because we want to share the info. We want to share. Um, want to change lives. We want to yeah. We want to change you know lives one life at a time. You know. Yeah. So sharing is caring. On that note, right? So you know, if you see some some benefits in in what we do, go ahead and share it with someone that you love and you think they might need the help or. Um, you just want to touch somebody else's life, you know, so Absolutely. you can share this info with them and we'll be glad to see them on one of our um, episodes, yeah. right? Absolutely. All right. So I'm just getting this coated here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I got my pan hot. I added the avocado oil. If you're just joining us, we made one of our signature mocktails at the beginning of the show. Yes. It's a Jamaican cucumber ginger water mm. so it had fresh cucumber we just chopped it up threw it in the blender fresh ginger we didn't yeah. even peel it threw it in the blender some it's lemon so juice good. some lemon juice i'm gonna just yeah. do a little bit here some lemon juice and and water and you just puree that up and then you just take it and strain it out and whoo was that oh and of course we use our keto friendly sweetener so we just added powder erythritol the keto sweetener directly in there all right so we're putting our chicken in here. We want to get this, you know, in a single layer if possible so that, like I said, oil is a conduit for heat. So you want to make sure that your Now, guys, I know that we've been taught mistakenly. We've been miseducated to believe that health, that fat is unhealthy and not good for you. That is both true and false. Most of the fats on the market are completely unhealthy. I'm talking about corn oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, soybean oil, um, peanut oil, grapeseed oil. All these oils are seed oils. They're processed. They're industrialized. They have an unhealthy ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. They will inflame your gut, and they will wreak havoc on your health and your weight loss journey. I had someone one time that was saying to me, but I don't understand why I'm not losing weight. All I do is eat salad. And I said, well, what kind of dressing do you use? Oh, you know, I just bought a, uh, buy a store-bought dressing. And those dressings have soybean oil, corn oil, That's canola right. oil, which are all GMO. That's right. All right? So you have to be very mindful. Yeah, because I know. Uh, Hold on, baby. Love. Give me a second. Thank so, you, baby. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me this wife. <laughs> Sorry if I'm screaming in your ear, but. God, I love her. Now, we talked about this. When you put your meat in the pan, do not move the meat. It's going to stick. All right? Move the pan. Let the oil coat everything. Let it cook. Okay? Let it cook. All right? That's why it's called Keto Cooking with Love, because love takes time. All right? Faster is not always better. Although we're cooking a bunch of food in a little bit of time here. Okay? I mean, this is a one-time um, event because normally, you know, we have one meal, maybe two. Normally, we have dinner on the table in 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And that involves, you know, dishes being done as well, except for the plates and the silverware of what we're eating. Cheers, but we baby. thought this would be beneficial because we have a lot of people that ask, you know. They want to know how to meal prep, what to meal prep, and how to meal prep. So we said, why don't we bring it onto a show and, and make that an episode? So, yeah. 
And if you joined us late or if you weren't here from the beginning, this drink was inspired by a, a Jamaican cook that I used to work with a long time ago in New York City. And he was always drinking this green drink. And at, first of all, I couldn't understand how he was in that kitchen with the long dreads, right? Like, I have this much hair and I'm sweating. Um, but he was like, yeah, man, have some, have, some, have some cucumber juice. And I'm like, yeah, man, let's see. Now, that had sugar, okay? So, of course, it was delicious. But this is the keto version of it. This is really good, though. This is really Listen, good. Listen, as long as she likes it, I'm yeah. Very refreshing. I'm happy. Ms. Darlene said that mom is cracking up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Listen, that's it's a... so adorable. My favorite, my favorite people to cook for are children and older adults because they don't lie. Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. when I used to cater oh, uh, yeah. uh, Dominican baby showers, right? And so I would show up with the food and all the aunties and all the Dominican moms, they all screw face because they're upset that, that nobody asked them to cook. So they would be looking at me like, oh, you cook? Oh, how long you been cooking? Oh, where'd you learn how to cook? And after they tasted the food, they're like, oh, mijo, ya esta receta. When can I get the recipe? And how, oh my God, how'd you make this? How'd you make this chicken? All right. So I, I, I love older people because they're going to give you the truth. They're going to let you know if you suck, they're going to let you know if it's good. All right. So if, you, if you're sensitive, don't give your food to an older person or a child because you're going to find out real quick if it's good or not. Talking about child, we have this young, uh, young kid today at, at the uh, networking. Skylar Rose. Skylar Rose. What a cutie. Beautiful little girl. And she enjoyed the dessert. <laughs> yep, we made a, our cheesecake fluff. We made a chocolate mousse. And uh, we had a good time. We had a good very, time. Very we were in Northeast very, Philadelphia very, at, a, at a networking mm -hmm. event. Made a lot of great connections. Guys, if you're just joining in and you didn't hear about our challenge, we have our newest health transformation challenge. It starts Labor Day. This is for people, entrepreneurs, working professionals, parents, anyone that came into 2023 saying this is the year that I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to get in the best shape of my life. And now it's almost Labor Day. And you're like, uh, yeah, about that. Well, guess what? We've got plenty of time. It's a 12-week complete health transformation you're not going to be the same person come christmas as you are right now i'm gonna tell you that yeah, right now and if you just if you just joined us and wasn't able to see our our uh, speaker that came in our guest speaker that came in and she's just almost finishing her her journey with us um completing the challenge that she took off her, you know she got that mindset that she wanted to go for she had a specific goal and she actually exceeded her goal so kudos to her um, yep. She exceeded Abby, her goal yeah. in eight weeks and she still yeah. has time to go. And she, yeah, and she's still here with us. Yep. Um, your cousin Mercy says she's got to try that drink. <laughs> yeah, Mercy, but this is with no alcohol, okay? Because <laughs> alcohol, it stalls your weight loss. Yeah, girl, no, it's delicious. It's delicious. Make it, send us a picture, tag us, let us know. All right, so now we're going to anoint this chicken that we seared and off. Voila, and there you go, you have your curry chicken. Yeah, we don't drink alcohol the way we used to, but, you know, for people that do drink alcohol, you know, if, you, if you're trying to stay keto, you want to do a clear spirit, like a white, like a light rum, tequila, vodka, gin, okay? And if you're not sure, just Google. Now, while those spirits that I just mentioned don't have carbs, alcohol still slows down your weight loss because your liver prioritizes metabolizing alcohol because alcohol is still toxic to human Mercy, beings. there's no diet alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Here's diet alcohol. Uh, water before Jesus turns it to wine, okay? Oh, Mercy, that's funny. All right, girl. You got mm. that one. Amazing. You know, that, okay, that's... So we're pretty much uh, alcohol now. is one of the biggest things that, that slows people down from actually getting weight loss. And I get it. You know, we want to have fun. We want to party. We want to turn up. I, I get it, right? Like, this is a judgment-free zone. But for, you know, for what I tell people is, like, you know, you have to prioritize which is, you know, you which is more. You got to pick those battles, huh? You got you to gotta pick your poison, okay? You got to pick your poison. You got to pick your poison. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you can't drink, right? But maybe you give it up for a little bit. You reduce the amount that you drink. Yep. Like, like, honestly, if you had, and nobody has this, but if you have one drink, if you have one drink, 
that's not going to mess up your weight loss journey. But who has one drink, right? Like that, that's, you know, so, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's about, it's drink, about, yeah, yeah, it's about, uh, you know, short term, short term versus long term. Uh, Andrea said, is she's asking, is the chicken in a cast iron skillet? Yes, this is a cast iron skillet. I just happen to be using cast iron. We have like all our pan, pots and pans out here. We're doing a lot, but you don't have to do it in a cast iron skillet. We love cooking a cast iron skillet. We cook most of our things in a cast iron skillet. It retains the heat very well. So, you know, because when you add... So another chef tip while we're at it. Go ahead. One thing that people do, I've shared all these techniques with you on how to make delicious restaurant quality food. And make your food taste amazing. But one mistake that people make when they cook their food is that they take the meat straight out of the refrigerator and into the pan. This is going to drop the temperature in your pan drastically. All right? Mm -hmm. And you don't want that. So cast iron helps offset that a little because it retains heat. You can't drop the temperature on this that quickly. But when you're going to cook chicken, fish, steak, whatever meat you're going to cook... Take them out the refrigerator 15, 20 minutes before at least, maybe 30 minutes before the most, so that the meat can come to room temperature. And this is going to give you more flavor, more even cooking and done this throughout. That's why sometimes people make a steak and the steak is super dry on the outside, but juicy in the middle. That's because your steak was too cold when you put it in the pan. And so the outside got overcooked before the inside got thoroughly cooked. Hope that helps. Okay. Good tip. You guys got that? <laughs> All right. So we're pretty much almost done here, right, baby? Yeah. yeah All we so gotta do is just uh let's plate everything up. Yeah, yeah, plate everything up. So we can show you what it looks like. So the first so one was the we've got our ribeye steak here. Let's get this out of the way. All right, we got some here. Drain that, drain that spinach, baby yeah. love. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, let's give this a taste, honey. Mmm. Mmm. Baby love. Yum, yum. Get in my belly. All right, so we've got spinach right here with a ribeye steak. Okay, that's one dish. All right, this, this, this asparagus is good enough for two dishes. Then we got ribeye. I got to take this part right here. We got ribeye here with our asparagus. Mmm. <laughs> okay, my love. Delicious, guys. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are able to do this during the week. Let us know. Send us a picture. All oh. right, put that off to the side. Of your own meal prep. Let me get another container. I feel like please. my hair just grew like a chia pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's humid in here. Let me get another container, baby love. Mm -hmm. Empty? Yes. So this was the Brussels with bacon that we did. All right. We just cooked up our bacon. Chef tip, start your bacon in a cold pan and the bacon will not stick to your pan. And then we, uh, we took the bacon out. We sauteed our Brussels sprouts in there. We added a little bit of butter, a little bit of water so it can steam. We chopped up our bacon and put it back. But if you don't eat pork, you can just omit that. Okay. Just put this yep. to yep. the side. All right, we have our, our Cajun salmon here with the crispy skin. Okay, you can see that glistening. Mm. All right, so that's going to go on there. Love salmon. All right, let me get the um, wonderful. All right, let's turn this off. Let me get the broccoli. Serve up that broccoli baby in there. All right, we have here our Alfredo broccoli. I'm reaching behind you, baby. Yes. We have here our Alfredo broccoli that we made, okay? So we made a fresh Alfredo sauce. We used that steamed broccoli, that garlic broccoli that my wife is serving up right now, all right? So we've got the garlic broccoli there, steamed broccoli here. We're gonna put this salmon with the garlic broccoli. Ooh -wee. Delicious, delicious, yes, my love. Okay, and now, Are we missing one? Uh, we're missing the sauteed, the sauteed Brussels sprouts. That's right. With ginger and garlic. Here, my love, give this a taste. 
All right, so here we have our garlic broccoli. Here we have our sauteed Brussels sprouts. Okay, and those are going to get our Ooh. curry chicken. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Getting hot. It's good. So this took a little bit more than an hour, but that's because we made a mocktail. All right, we were answering questions and we were talking a whole lot. When you're cooking at home in your kitchen, you won't be talking as much as we was talking, okay? Just put some music on, whatever YouTube, kind of- YouTube, watch us. Yeah, listen to us, <laughs> all right? You don't have to watch, you can just listen in the background right. and crack up. It all looks awesome, Barbara says. Thank you. Thank you, Barb. Thank you for staying with us, love it. So guys, there you have it. There Six delicious, Six. nutritious dishes in just one hour. Now, just so you know, there's even ways to make this faster, right? We could have roasted our broccoli. You could just take your broccoli, put what the florets in a, in a cookie sheet, in a baking dish, put your oil, season it however you like, salt, pepper, adobo, uh, <laughs> garlic powder, right? Like cayenne, however you like. You can do that with you can roast the asparagus, you can roast cauliflower, you can roast broccoli, That's right. all right? Mm -hmm. And put that in a, in, a, in a sheet pan on foil. You can put them all in the same pan and just make pockets. Make a pocket on foil of broccoli, cauliflower, put it in the, in the oven 400 degrees, 15, 18 minutes, oil it up, that's done. While that's in the oven, you can be cooking your steak or your fish or your chicken. Or you can cook your fish. And chicken on two separate pans in the oven, 350 degrees. You can make wings in the oven, ribs in the oven, right? So we just showed you, if you're able to do this on stovetop in an hour, imagine once you leverage <laughs> that gorgeous <laughs> oven, how much more time you can save. Uh, Pammy, who was up here earlier, she started our program July 1st, and we were having a Zoom meeting. She got enrolled. She got started. And she was like, all right, great. I said, you're starting right now. Okay, you're starting right now. Here's your meal plan. And she goes, well, I got to hurry up and go and shop. You know, I, 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 you know, it's, it's, and I said, get some salmon, get some broccoli, put the broccoli to roast, 18 minutes while the broccoli roasts, make your salmon. Next day when we had our coaching call, not next day, but in a few days later when we had our coaching call, I said, so how was that? Oh, my God, child, I've never cooked. This is easy. Well, talking about okay. meal prep, she said, are we going to go? And do the meal prep when we go to Houston. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we, can, we got you, Pat. We, we, we got you. Happen. We, we got can you. Make that happen. That's right. Guys, so we hope you enjoyed yeah, this episode. It's been a, quite a night. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. And are you guys going to come over and help us with these dishes? <laughs> what, what did Oprah say? Everyone wants to ride in the limousine, but who's going to get out and push when it breaks down, right? There's the dishes, okay? Oh my God. No, guys, we appreciate no, yeah, we, this so we much. We appreciate you guys. Especially, you know, taking your time, your valuable time to spend it with us. Um, we appreciate that from yeah. the bottom of our hearts. So, so next Tuesday is, for now, our last live episode for now. This is a shortened season that we brought to you in August. Yeah. We will be bringing more live cooking recipes. My wife has some traveling coming up. Mm -hmm. And so we're just working out the logistics. But you haven't seen the last of that, okay? You might see me here by myself. You might see her there on the camera. You will continue to see us very shortly. But in that spirit, next week, we have a football tailgate menu. Awesome. Okay? It's the start of football season. I know a lot of people are excited. I know we're here in Philadelphia. A lot of uh, Eagles fans are excited. For sure. Right? I'm For from sure. New York. I'm a Jets, Giants, and Bengals fan. You know, we're always optimistic, <laughs> okay? So uh -huh. this rest of, this menu that we're going to do next week is family-friendly. You know, it's, it's easy to prepare. You can make a lot of these things in advance. And whether you're entertaining for a football game or a basketball game or you just want to have people over and have a good time and enjoy some healthy food with the people that you love, you do not want to miss next week's episode. Again, guys. So, Mom, we said have a good night. And thank you to her also for staying up with us and enjoying this time with us as well. So, thank you. And have a good night uh, to Darlene's mom. She's about to go. So, thank you. And thank you again, all of our viewers, for coming in and watching us. I hope you guys are a were able to take um, some notes and some of the tips that Jose did 
bring up. But anyway, tomorrow we'll the have full the recipes, full recipes. The full recipes. So, yeah. We will repost the video, even though the video stays up as a live, right? But I repost the video 7 a.m. with all of these recipes so that you can have quantities. And, you know, I just want you to, the reason that we're keto cooking with love is a lot of reasons. But I want you to think about, you don't have to cover it yet. Okay, please. not yet. Okay. But the, I want you to think about cooking like okay. kissing, Okay. <laughs> I can give you a recipe for kissing, but it's nothing like the real thing, right? It's, it's something that you have to do. So when you when you look at recipes, think of it like that, okay? Adjust it to the way that you like it, right? If I show you, hey, do it like this. If you like more salt, use more salt. If you like less salt, use less salt. <laughs> if you like no spice or seasonings, don't use any spice or seasonings. Just kind of do it in a way that works for you. Only use the recipes as a guide, as a roadmap. All right, but then and put your own love into it. Put your own spin on it. On that note, let's put a spin on it. Hit that, <laughs> hit that tone so we can <laughs> jam on it. A jam on it. A jam on it. All right, guys. Boom, again, boom, thank you so much. Boom, We're about boom. to end end this episode right now. On a. We'll see you next week. <laughs>